Your Excellency, President William Ruto, my friend and brother, I want to take this opportunity to be the first one to congratulate you on being sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Congratulations, my brother. You fought a hard fight. The obstacles that have been placed before you on your path to leadership were insurmountable. But because there is a God in heaven, today, an ordinary child, born by ordinary parents, brought up in an ordinary village, brought up in an ordinary way, growing up in an ordinary manner, because there is God in heaven, he is the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces. I want to tell the people of Kenya, President William Ruto and all of us who have worked with him, take no credit for this victory. It was not possible for us to win this election. It was through the heart of God that today an ordinary child has been sworn in as president. I want to thank the people of Kenya for their lessons and for their determination, for rejecting to be intimidated, for rejecting to be coerced, and for saying that the will of the people is supreme in this republic. Your Excellency, President William Ruto, I must tell these people the truth. Despite the fact that you are a hard worker, you have passion to serve, you are zealous, you are a go-getter, the journey ahead of you is not rosy. And I want to ask the people of Kenya, the way you prayed for President William Ruto to be elected as president, Please continue praying for him and his team to be able to start the economic transformation of this great republic. Our new president and his team have a difficult task ahead. The truth of the matter is that we have inherited a dilapidated economy that is facing almost an economic shutdown. We have a 10 trillion public debt. Six million Kenyans have no employment. 14 million Kenyans are in CRB. We have a demoralized public service. It is your prayers that will help our president to put up a team and start work from day one to liberate this country economically and put it back to where President Mwai Kebake left us 10 years ago. Your Excellency, the President, I want to tell the people of Kenya that today is a great day. Freedom is here with us. Freedom is here with us. I want to tell the people of Kenya that finally you are free. Kenya is now a democratic country. You don't have to look back when you do something. All Kenyans are free to associate with whoever they want. It became a crime in this country to be afraid of William Ruto. It is only that it was not put in the penal From today, I want to tell the people of Kenya that you are finally free. I want to tell public servants, I want to tell all the people of Kenya, from now, you don't have to talk with each other through the WhatsApp for fear of being recorded and persecuted by state agencies. Your Excellency, our President, Your Excellency, our President, 
you have told us and we believe you that you shall never in your president in your presidency use the criminal justice system to manage politics you have told us that you'll manage politics the conventional way through persuasion and reaching out i want to give a word on behalf of our president that you are free to criticize his government without fear of reprisal from state agencies. Your Excellency, Mr. President, as I wind up, as I wind up, I want to assure you of my resolve and commitment from the bottom of my heart to be available to assist you to manage the affairs of our great nation. I'll serve you with loyalty and dedication. And the job ahead of us is not a job. I and the team behind you, we shall be available and we'll try to keep up with your pace. I know I am getting in shoes that are almost impossible to fail. The performance of William Ruto in his first term when he was allowed to serve the people of Kenya was on another level. Please, I beg the people of Kenya, I beg the people of Kenya, not to measure me with the performance of William Ruto because you might get disappointed. I will try. I may go up to 60 or 70 percent, but feeling the shoes of this man is no small feat. 